All right, guys, got the latest update, 2019 12.1.1 on the Model X AP2. And I wanna test out how it handles tolls. That's always been a problem for autopilot. It always disengages or tells you that it disengages and then it sort of just leaves it up to you to navigate the tolls. It's always been a concern of mine when it comes to full self-driving. So I'm interested to see how this latest build, this latest version with aut autopilot, navigator autopilot, handles tolls. Okay, autopilot is activated, navigator and autopilot is activated. And we're just gonna see, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see how it handles the toll road. Does it completely stop and hand me the control like it used to do? Does it continue on autopilot? And again, this is different. This is New York, this is New Jersey area. So we have easy pass toll roads, which sometimes don't necessarily uh, have the lines that go from the lanes to the actual tolls themselves. Sometimes it does. In which case, when it doesn't, it's just wide open space. Autopilot sort of hands you the, uh, the reins. That's what the usual behavior was. Um, interested to see what happens now for this toll, which I think does have continuous lane lines that go all the way to the toll booth. But I'd be interested to see. Traffic is pretty dense. It is a pretty much like rush hour right now. So very, very interested to see how the car handles this scenario. Uh, nav uh, auto lane change without confirmation is enabled. And it is routing me accordingly. I have one hand on the wheel for those interested. I have the other hand is free. One hand is on the wheel, just bracing myself. I'm gonna hover over the brake a little bit and it tells me that Navigator Autopilot is disabled. So now Navigator Autopilot is disabled, but can Autopilot itself navigate me to a toll? This is kind of dangerous, but don't want to veering me off. Kind of dangerous, a little nervous. Let's see what happens. This booth is kind of tight, it's slowing down. Wow, okay, slows down. Wow, gets me to the easy pass. But again, now lane lines are not very visible here, so I'm interested to see what happens here. That was pretty impressive. It actually navigated me there. This car is merging, is it gonna stop? Not really, I had to disengage. It didn't seem like it wanted to stop for that car, so I disengage. But I'm gonna re-engage now and see what happens. Okay, again, traffic is very dense. The lanes are actually very narrow here. I don't know if you can see it from the screen here. The lanes are pretty narrow. But for the most part, I'm impressed so far just because it was able to take the toll. And again, very, very dense traffic, rush hour. People are rushing to get home, rushing to get to wherever they need to get to. The weather's kind of nice, so that makes it even more of a temptation for other people to start driving. But here we are, navigating autopilot resume. All right, guys, another pass through another toll to see how it handles this one. Um, the first one went pretty well even though the lines dissipated before the actual tow booth. It seemed to find a way to find its way into the lane. We'll try again with this other tow booth and hopefully we get the same results. Again, testing tow booths, making sure that uh, Autopilot can handle these for the eventuality of full self-driving and how it's gonna navigate these tow booths uh, to get from interstate to interstate, long distance travel, etc. Prompting me for a lane change, and the person is not letting me over. It's typical of this area, <laughs> New York, New Jersey metro area. Not letting me get over, so it's going to continue to fight to try to get in. And now it's going to take. There we go. It tells me that autopilot is unavailable because it's approaching the toll, and now it shifts to regular autopilot. Here's where I want to be vigilant and see how I can get into the appropriate lane to be able to get through this toll booth scenario. Seems to want to stay in this lane, so that's good. Okay, so far so good, kind of followed that line that was there, so that was helpful for this scenario. Wow, this person didn't see me, almost hit me. This is actually not the right lane to be in, so I have to now disengage. That's another thing too, I have easy pass, so I have to get into the easy pass lane. So I can re-engage once I'm here. Not quite yet. Okay, so that didn't really work out too well. I'll re-engage. Now re-engage is navigate on autopilot, makes a lane change, or tries to make a lane change, and now it's disabled because the lanes are too wide. Now the lanes are a little bit more narrow. 
re-engage. Now it gets into the lane that it needs to be in for the exit, which is coming up pretty quickly. Asking me to apply some force to, to confirm. And then it gets off at our exit. It's a little, little odd there. Uh, I think it needs to understand what lane it needs to be in in order for autopilot or navigator autopilot to be able to work to get you into the right easy pass lane or the appropriate lane based on what your preference is. Would love to see a option in the uh, in the menu to be able to tell you. I didn't want to stop right there. It's a little concerning on my end. Uh, but I'd love to see an option to tell you for you can specify what kind of toll tag you have, so it can let you know that it can navigate the appropriate lane based on your settings. If you have no, if you have cash, it'll put you in the cash lane. If you have if you have uh, if you have uh, Easy Pass or Sun Pass or whatever you have, it'd be able to put you in the appropriate lane for that as well. So we'll see. So far, uh, it's a work in progress. Not fully there, but we'll see what happens. Leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next video.